Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories, let's start to story. AITA for calling my boyfriend's parents grandma and grandpa without talking to him first. So, this Thanksgiving I, 29F, went over to my boyfriend Jay's 25M house for dinner, and I brought along my son, 4. Jay and I have been together for about a year and a half now, and honestly he's been an absolute gem with my son from day one. The biological dad is completely out of the picture, so when Jay stepped up, it felt like the universe was giving us a break. Naturally, in my head, Jay is the one. I was genuinely convinced we were both on the same page about our relationship and its future. Now, let me explain why I thought it was no big deal to introduce Jay's parents as grandma and grandpa. Even though I've only met them a handful of times, three to be exact, they've been polite, and they knew about my son. I didn't think it was a formal thing, just part of our relationship evolving. Jay's parents were already over when we arrived for dinner, helping him with some final touches in the kitchen. When Jay's dad saw my son, he asked, who's this little guy? And without even thinking, I introduced my son to them and said, this is grandma and grandpa. It just felt natural at the moment. But, oh boy, did the vibe shift. The room got really quiet, almost instantly. I didn't pick up on it right away because honestly, I was caught up in trying to keep things cheerful for my son. Looking back though, I can see they were not feeling it. My son even called them grandma and grandpa during dinner, and they were really awkward about it, like super fake smiles and forced reactions. They didn't stick around for long, and when they left, they were cold to me, I tried brushing it off, but things just felt off. So I asked Jay what their deal was, and man, he flipped out on me. He said I put him in the most awkward position ever. Apparently his parents didn't think we were that serious yet, and after I left, they started questioning him, wondering if I was just using him as a replacement daddy. That hit him hard, and he was furious I introduced them as grandparents without talking to him first. I get it now, but at that moment, I thought it was ridiculous. Like, we've been together for a year and a half, Jay has been wonderful with my son, and if we're heading toward a serious future, why wouldn't they be grandma and grandpa one day? I just didn't see why it had to be this big formal conversation. But Jay wasn't having any of that. He kept saying, that's not the point. We argued back and forth until I just stormed out, thinking he owed me an apology. After that, I vented to my sister, fully expecting her to back me up. Instead, she was mortified. She said she didn't think we were that serious either and pointed out that maybe Jay wasn't ready for the dad role yet. That got me thinking. I've always seen Jay as this amazing father figure because he's been nothing but loving to my son, but maybe I read the situation wrong. Maybe I jumped the gun by making that introduction without even thinking. I realize now how badly I messed up. I hurt Jay, I made his parents uncomfortable, and worst of all, I might have hurt my son in the process by introducing people into his life in a role they weren't ready to take on. I panicked and called Jay to apologize. He told me he needed space and wanted to take a break. I also called his mom to apologize for putting them in an awkward position. She was really nice about it, super understanding and even forgave me, but in hindsight, I think she was just being polite. Deep down, I could tell things with Jay on the break. A couple of days later, Jay and I sat down to talk. I could feel it was over before we even got into the conversation. He admitted that while he knew my son and I were a package deal, he hadn't decided if he was ready to take on that dad role yet. He explained that he was hurt because I never even brought it up with him. I just made the decision for him and his parents. And to make things worse, I expected him to apologize when I was clearly in the wrong. There were a few other things he brought up, but honestly, they're beyond the scope of this issue, so I won't dive into those. At the end of the day, I know I screwed up. I had all these expectations about our future, without ever sitting down to talk with him, about where we were really at. I let my excitement and emotions get ahead of me, and I dragged my son into it too. Now I'm just working on communicating better and making sure I'm not rushing into anything when it comes to my son's life. I'm heartbroken, but this was a huge lesson learned. So yeah, I messed up. But I'm trying to grow from it. Reflection In retrospect, I realize how much communication really matters. What felt like a natural step for me was a huge leap for Jay. I should have checked in with him first. My son's happiness is my priority, and I have to be more careful about the roles I introduce into his life. 
This wasn't just a relationship hiccup. It was a wake-up call about how I handle serious decisions. Community response. Lost Boys Gang. Obviously, Op learned her lesson, but I do feel like her ex was kind of ridiculous. He dates a single mom for two years, even brings the child to his family's Christmas, and then says, I never thought about being their dad. Kahirangi NZ. Yeah, this is the bit that pushed the original post to ESH. Op made some assumptions and mistakes, but seriously, who gets into a long term relationship with a single mother? and doesn't stop to think what that means in terms of their relationship with the kiddos. Two years down the track and he's only now realized he doesn't want to be part of the kid's family, and only because of an off-hand comment from Op. The good thing that comes out of this is that Op isn't sinking any more time into a relationship with someone so self-absorbed he never even thought about if he wanted the sort of relationship she thought he was looking for. And she knows that this is a discussion to have fairly early on, if slash when she next starts dating. Participant 1 Lots of people remain in a stepdad position, forever, that never entails become a dad to the kid. Lots of families have more of a mom's boyfriend, set up without any expectations of parental rights and responsibilities. It's probably big news to him that she expected any boyfriend to practically adopt her kid. Not really the norm. Participant 2 in this situation I'd agree if the boy was older. He is four now, at the time of the post, and Op has been dating the guy for two years. That means this guy started dating a single mom with an infant who might be starting to be a toddler. If they didn't break up then boyfriend would literally have been there for every memory of that boy's life, and he doesn't want the title. That's wild to me. Participant 3 They don't live together. He is most likely not contributing financially to raising the kid, he is unlikely to be the emergency contact for school slash daycare, he's not responsible for taking off work if the kid is sick or arranging his work schedule to make it work with kid drop-off slash pickup, he's likely not organizing birthday parties and playdates, etc. I have friends who have consistently seen my kids grow up, and that doesn't make them anywhere near being parents. From the kid's perspective, a boyfriend who doesn't live with mom probably ranks on the same level as any of mom's friends she sees regularly. Obviously, the mom needs to be thoughtful about how she's raising her kid and what ideas she's putting in his head about family, and there is lots of room to mess things up at this age. Thanks for watching till the end, wishing you an awesome day, feel free to drop a comment if you got more to share.